What's up guys, my name is Mark and I'm a paranormal investigator. I've investigated some of the most haunted locations in the US for well over 10 years. And tonight we're gonna to be watching The Haunting of the Chris Wattel by Jesse's Histories and Mysteries. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it looks like it's... Looks like something was walking down the stairs. Is that, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, I think that's what we're seeing. So it looks like it's walking down the stairs. And you see where she's highlighted it right here. You can kind of see the movement as it's walking downstairs. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know if that's something or... That's weird. Mm. That did sound like Bella, and it did sound like a little girl talking, but I, I don't know. I mean, there's there's so much excess noise of the dog and ding, j jingles and all kinds of things happening. So it's really hard to say if that's for sure what's happening or what's being said. But if I were to have caught that footage, I might have thought the same thing. Oh, now see, that's, okay, that's, that's different. Okay, now decorating for my new home. That clearly was something. I, I don't think that the officers would have said something like that. So based on what I'm seeing and hearing, I think that was probably an EVP. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did y'all see that? Hold on. Wow. That's weird. That looks like a little girl. That's that could be Bella or Celeste. That could be one of the girls. It looks that strange. That is because No. Yeah, that's creepy when you hear something like that, because that could even be you know, something at the time of the murder, we don't really know. Um, they obviously had a lot of fights and we know what happened in the house. So it very well could have been just something left over from the time of the murder. Uh, it could be just a trick at the camera and the lighting, but it did look like something was moving, but she kind of pointed out what looked like maybe what she thought was a still figure, but the only thing I saw was something moving down the stairs, but it could have essentially been just a movement of the camera and shadows and, and the lights. Yeah, I don't... I think I see anything there that I think it's hard to say with with a clip like that what the, what that could have or could have been I'm, I'm not sure more than likely it was absolutely nothing just uh, a reflection of something else it could mean uh, a high intense um, fight so it could mean several things because the body chemistry changes sure on all that oh yeah absolutely absolutely Oh, that's weird. A lot of these are motion up. Yeah, you can definitely hear the word Chris. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty plain and simple right there. You can hear it. Um, you know, what I like about this video is this is all police body cam footage. So it's nothing, nothing like someone is adding words or anything like that. And the police there, they have no reason to add anything to the audio. It's just picking up what's over there. Activated. 
These are the shoes that she took the scent off of. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, no. Good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's weird. That giggle. I kind of heard this, like the, the soft mommy, and then the giggle. That's very strange. Um, and then just we'll see the this uh, canine unit lady's. Um, we'll see her reaction to it after she heard it. It kind of makes her. She like she she got a little bit freaked out by it. What the world was that? Wow. Yeah, what the world was that? You're right. Step on that little blue thing and see if that's where that noise came from. Yeah, it sounded like a kid it, toy. It, might, it sort of sounds like it. As someone who is a police investigator, the first her first instinct is to debunk whatever that sound was. And they obviously couldn't debunk it. Something. There was a. I heard it. That one. Did you hear it? That one. Did you hear it? That one. Did you hear it? I did. It sounded like. Okay, the help. It, I think it's kind of reaching a little bit with the help. Um, it did sound more like a squeak. I think you can kind of maybe interpret that as a help. Lots of sounds and noises, especially like that, especially if you're looking for something to be said. You know, we've already seen a lot of voices and things happening, so you're almost expecting and wanting to hear things at this point. My honest opinion would be that that is probably just a foot squeak or something like that. A kid giggling or something, didn't it? Or a kid? It did. It could have even also been the dog. I heard it. I definitely heard the same thing you did. Yeah, and then he just sort of turned around and looked. Yeah, it's nice that not only the two ladies heard it, but the dog even noticed it as well. Was she on any kind of she was pregnant? I was going to say, do you know about drug use in the house or pot? Not that we know of. Good. So I'm gonna go with probably a breath in or out, more than likely from the camera person. Other than, I don't, I don't believe that would be an EVP. Yeah, same. I, I, I'm gonna go with probably breathing in or out. It's really hard to say without another camera on the other person to know for sure. That'd be my guess is Oh, okay. Okay, now that gave me a little bit of a chills. Okay. That 100%, you can't deny what that just said. I mean, clearly, I'm with CC. That is what's being said. Is that the mom? Is that, is that Shanann? More than likely, that's what I would say, that that's Shanann with her daughter. Let's see. Let's turn that fan. Okay, that's, you know, yeah, that, I, again, another EVP, for sure. This is our home, it's, it's clearly what is being said. You know, and, and, you know, these could be intelligent experiences, these could be residual energy, maybe them talking, having a fight, who knows what, what she could be meaning by that. Um, you know, it's also the other possibility is that Shanann is maybe even seeing the 
investigators in her house and basically letting her letting them know that this is our home but my guess would be more than likely that this is may have been a conversation that her and Chris Chris was having Uh, again, it, it sounds like an EVP, it sounds like something is coming through, but it's really hard to understand what that's being said, if that actually says I had to leave. Uh, again, I kind of think that's a little bit more reaching on that one. It's not very clear like some of the other ones were, so if I heard that, I would probably chop it up as maybe something is being said, but I couldn't really say what for sure is being said at that time. Yeah, both of those, um, I'm not really going to comment too much on it. I, th I think they're both probably just uh, breathing in and breathing out. I don't, I, I, again, I think it's a little bit more reaching, wanting to hear something like Shanann, but I just don't hear it. We don't know. Um, it's the only bed in the house that's unmade. Just kind of a little bit of, is this where Janie's dog had interest too? Or? Um, very good. The opposite side, so bed area, and then, and we actually shut off the furnace just to eliminate that, but it was from the other direction right where those coolers were, so a lot of just refocus, 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 so, uh, yeah, there was just revisiting right here, and the only thing, I mean, there's a bag of rope and some tie downs and a whole bunch of paint cans. So, so uh, I'm pretty comfortable not be a, a body or parts. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so that sounds like maybe two different voices and maybe, I don't know, that's, that's strange. What do you think is trying to be said here? Something told her? I don't know. It sounds like maybe that would be a, a male voice, but there was obviously no one male that was unalived in this house. It was just Shanann. But you can hear the um. I can't tell if the um is possibly from maybe the person holding the camera because the two voices are so different but I would say that at the very least the first voice would probably be an EVP. It is very clean. I mean there's not even dust in the I can hear the house part. Uh, I'm not really hearing the I just want her out of the house or whatever it was. I'm not really hearing that first part. Um, you know, again, I, I think a lot of times when people hear these EVPs, they really do reach for wanting to hear something specific about maybe the case or the spirits that are supposed to reside there. And again, if it is haunted, then I, I would say that they probably would be saying things like that. But again, it sounded like a male voice, so it doesn't really make sense since Chris Watts is still alive and he's in prison. So he's not haunting the house, so who would that voice be? Okay, the I'm cold, I'm gonna throw that out. I, I mean, you can hear a, a weird sound right before that happens, so I would say that's probably, uh, you're just kind of hearing things that and you you want to hear. Um, but that's toxic, that is clearly what's being said. Now, I obviously don't know if that's the, one of the investigators that said something. I highly doubt it because they seem to be talking very loud. So I don't want to attribute too many of these voices to one in person holding the camera because they're not 
being quiet. They're they're talking loud enough where you can hear them. You see right there, you can hear the dog uh, making kind of breath sounds. And if the dog is a little bit too far, too far away from the camera, maybe it's picking up something like that, like a things like that. So it could sound like, I mean, I'm cold or whatever. So that's why when we look for EVPs that we can for sure say it's something, saying something, then we want full sentences and it's very clear as to what is being said rather than just, ah, maybe that's what it, you know, maybe it said cold, I don't know. Figure the house is clear at this point. See right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna revert back. She didn't mark this one, but this is a good example right here where maybe something was being said but that could have been marked as an EVP. She obviously didn't feel that it was. But if I would have heard that initially, that would have been my first thought is that was an EVP. Let's see, let's just do it again. <laughs> Figure the house is clear at this point. You see right there when she asks if we feel like the house is cleared at the point, then you hear a, a voice that is a very whispery sound, very similar to the EVPs that we're hearing in the video. She didn't mark it, so she obviously believed that it was probably one of the officers, and I also believe that it was probably one of the officers as well. Alright, we're done in there. So I'm gonna go double check with other So I've already seen this clip, so one thing to keep um, mindful is you see all the lights and how bright it is in the kitchen. Think about that in the next couple minutes. Yeah, it's a basement. Ready? Mm -hmm. That's the basement, I think. Yep. Let's clear the garage. 
Sotsi Oro je u Hama Zagradovaču. Frederick, please upon me, anybody in the garage? Frederick, please upon me, make yourself known! Yeah, to me that sounded like a shoe squeak or something. I, I didn't hear the gable on that one. Is it sealed off from the top on that side? Yeah, same. Yeah, I, it sounded like some of his other kind of random noise, shoe squeak or something else. And it's just being marked as a gay one. I, I don't I don't believe it is. Yeah, never mind. Coming back towards you. Copy. Look coming up. Okay, I'll pull the door. Once you guys are ready. Okay. You want to make that announcement? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Frederick Police Department, anybody in the basement? Frederick Police Department, make yourself known! Gotcha. Hey, can you, you'll notice that all the police have gone down in the, I guess, the basement. No one else is in the kitchen and, and just this one cop right here. And he is talking to himself. So he, he seems spooked by something. I think that was just a trick of the light, something like that. I mean, it, when you see a shadow, it's not going to take up the whole screen like that more than likely. You'll just see kind of something small, kind of that runs right by the, you know, like it would have been more in the background or something. Uh, if you think about how big that shadow would have had to been, you know, I mean, it would have towered on uh, basically the size of the house. So I, I think it's probably just a, a lighting issue or something. I'm not seeing anything sitting in a chair. The only thing I could see is on that that right side chair. It kind of looks like there might be a silhouette there, but on that right side chair, there might be some kind of a silhouette of some kind. When you see the cop use the flashlight, you see the white wall. It's kind of being reflected, and it sort of looks like a person. You remember how I mentioned to keep an eye out what it looks like in the kitchen? Well, it's very dark in there. There's obviously no other police. All the police are downstairs in the basement or wherever they are. They're clearly not in the kitchen and this is the only officer right here near the kitchen. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, see, that's weird. It, it, yeah. Yeah, that's very strange. Like, somebody, and it, it looks like someone just came and opened the fridge real quick, and you could tell that even the, the, the cop noticed it, and again, he seems a little bit nervous and skittish about this whole thing. Like, maybe he's feeling something. I wish I could talk to him and find out what he was feeling and thinking in that moment. Um, he probably wasn't thinking about ghosts or anything paranormal. He was probably more concerned that there might be someone still in the house. Um, but I think what he was sensing and feeling was definitely paranormal. And see, he's looking around. He, he noticed it. hoping you would say something and maybe get an get idea what he's thinking at that time Yeah, so here we go. There's something else right there. It kind of sounded like there was some kind of a voice coming through. Let me see if we can find that again. It's hard to tell if there's somebody talking to him, but it's very whispery and almost EVP like. See if we can figure out what it says. I'm surprised she didn't mark it. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys heard it, but I, I can't understand what it's saying, but it sounds like what I would think a little girl talking would sound like. Uh, it's very hard to understand any of what is being said, and it may very well just be something else, but uh, if I was using the footage, I would probably really analyze it, boost it up in the audio, and see if I could figure out what's being said, and try to determine if it was uh, EVP or just something else. But... I would probably say at this point, that was an EVP that she missed. Coming out. Coming out. Coming out. 
Okay, that's very, very weird. Um, Woohoo, Amanda. I mean, you know, it's one of those things that very well could have been one of the police because of what was said and does it really make sense for being in this house. Uh, but the fact of what is being said is also very strange. Uh, why would one of the cops say Woohoo, Amanda? That doesn't really make sense. Um, but the thing is, we're getting a lot of different EVPs, so like especially from male voices. And as far as we know, no one has died in this house other than the two little girls, potentially, and Shanann. No male has died in the house. That doesn't mean that there are not other spirits that still reside there. That maybe they've been there for a long time. Maybe they were there while the Watts family was still living there. We just really don't know. I'll hold down here. Out, Jared, how fed are pink bear legs? Um, yeah, baby. Um, my initial thought would be that it was just probably another one of the cops up there since there's at least two or three other guys up there. 
but it does seem to look a little different. Um, you kind of see the clothes look a little bit more flared out on the arms, possibly almost like maybe a nightgown or something. Um, and as weird and morbid as this may seem, I, it, it's hard to tell based on the pixelation. These cameras are not very good, but it almost kind of looks headless, if you want me to be honest with you all. I'll leave a little pointer here so you can see what I'm talking about, where it looks almost headless. Um, but it also could be, you see a little roundish spot right about there. That could be the head, maybe it's tilted like that or something. Um, but I don't know, it's a it's very interesting piece of footage and it it really does look like a little girl in a nightgown to me. So, it, again, it could be a cop, but I'm gonna go with that. That might be a spirit of one of the little girls. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see the original video, it's Jesse's Histories and Mysteries, The Haunting of the Chris Watos, and it'll the link will be down in the description. I'll see you next week.